Hey guys, Slacker here. Probably the last person you'd expect to uh, see a Fallout 4 build video from, but here I am. That just kind of goes to show how persuasive our buddy Eze -E is. I hadn't played uh, Fallout 4 for about a year, and I loaded it up again a couple weeks ago, and I realized I had deleted all my old saves. So I had to start a new character, which is why you see this lovely lady here. Now I probably didn't have to, but I decided I'd spend some time leveling her up to, I don't know, a state of semi-competency, even though I probably didn't need to just to do a build. But anyway, as you can see, we're at the Red Rocket down from Sanctuary. And the premise of this build is, again, this is Easy es Billboard Challenge. The premise is, this is a forward outpost at the top of the hill where the road goes down to Concord. Kind of a forward lookout to serve as, you know, advance warning to Sanctuary, if anything, anything comes up the road. Now, I don't have editing software, so I'm kind of doing this in one take, so... Bear with me if it's clunky, because it's going to be clunky. Alright, now I haven't done anything to Red Rocket here other than scrapping everything I needed for uh, parts and building supplies. The build starts here with this lovely concrete pathway. Tried to make it a little bit of a park-like setting. Sturgis would agree. He just wants a Nuka Cola. I, I owe him, but I ain't giving him. I ain't giving him shit. And the requisite flamingos for any build. A nod to Vault Girl. So I just kind of a little park-like setting. I would have liked to put a fountain in, but the only fountain in Vanilla is huge. And of course, they can't resize without mods. I don't have any mods, by the way. Over here we have a a little shelter for a five power generator. Nothing fancy. So what's this thing connected to? An elevator! <laughs> so I put the elevator up first and then I kind of built this monstrosity around it. Coming through here is this is at the entrance to the uh, to the elevator. Underneath, it's kind of a utility area. Another five power generator, some storage, uh, a dumpster which comes in handy, disposing of the daily rust double trash that attacks the camp, and kind of a friendly welcoming entrance some plants and a bulk girl statue hello so that's the tour for the ground floor here now the Minuteman recruit that the general task with uh, setting up this outpost also meant it to be a, uh, a home for him and obviously he also invited settlers so I don't know what the plans are for this place afterward maybe a future video up to the second floor this is the living area living room nice little patio with plants more just a chill area. Kick back after a hard day in the Commonwealth and drink a brew or two or three. And the living area. Standard living room. Must have the requisite TV. 
nice and comfy, comfy couch, ambient lighting. And of course the billboard, which makes for nice wallpaper, nice backdrop to prove I'm actually at the billboard. Over here is an eating area. Now there's no kitchen. There's no food prepared here. We order out all the food we need from Sanctuary or buy whatever overpriced garbage trash can Carlos selling in our caravan. So just an eating area. Definitely a bachelor life. I guess that's a nod to Dalton. This is, this is a place Dalton could live. Everything he eats or orders out. I'm in trouble now. And the bedroom. Just the bathroom, standard bathroom. Bathtub, turlet, sink, bed. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Dresser. Uh, institute recorder. Never mind. That's embarrassing. We'll go up to the third floor now. The third floor is basically just the roof. And of course, we have the requisite turrets for protection. Now, I wanted to get the settlers up here, but they... Other than Nick and Strong, they will not take the elevator, so I put up these uh, armor racks just so the uh, outpost looks like it's manned. So they're armor racks, cross-dressing dummies, another dummy. So like I said, this is just basically the roof area. Nothing fancy. Utility area. Now this box here, this whole structure here is just to serve as uh, structural support for what's up above, but it's a good place to put a turret. Might as well take advantage of it. And... The fourth level is the whole reason this place is supposed to be here, which is an observation post. And as you can see, we have a nice commanding view up here. You know, keep an eye out for anything coming up the road to Concord. Which is kind of funny, because I mean, Sanctuary is open on basically 90% of the area. If, it, if Sanctuary is going to be attacked, this is probably the last place they'd come but just in case you know it you know if there's raiders rust devils I don't know uh, maybe a deathclaw family member seeking revenge for what went down in Concord you know they have sanctuary has advanced notice so they can have their their all hands on deck situation and Sturgis God bless him. He uh, put a telephone line in between here and Sanctuary. So we have a direct hotline to Sanctuary. And of course the uh, recruitment. Recruitment uh, beacon. That's about it for up here. You get a really nice view up here. Probably should have put a bedroom up here. Again, just more dummies. Now, over here, put a little roof access to the Red Rocket roof. And more cross dressers with a pompadour wig. Turret. And another. Looks like he's wearing uh, Agatha's dress. Now you're probably, you advanced builders, you're probably going to see some uh, overhanging, hanging in, uh, what do you call it, uh, hanging in air portions of the build. 
but I did try to put some thought into uh, structural integrity where I could you know I'm not a structural engineer but I know that annoys a lot of people seeing any kind of any part of a build hanging so I did try to uh, at least make it look like what's upstairs is supported uh well yeah uh, oh shit I probably shouldn't even come down here all right just forget what you saw there <laughs> just forget what you saw there and Strong's always hanging out over here at the uh, chemistry station. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Strong carried most of the steel I needed for this place. He's always like, Why human need so much steel? Well, Strong, because I wanted a goddamn elevator. So I built one. Don't question me. Let's do a little night tour, see what it looks like at night. Let me see what time it is here. Again, I don't have editing software in the world, nor do I know how to use it. So, I'll just sleep for a few hours and do a run through here. Liar, I am not well rested. Alright, let's start from where we started earlier here. Whoop! It's a bright night. This lady here is a settler. But the strange thing about it is, I hadn't encountered that before. It's, it's a, she's a settler that was recruited by the Beacon, and she actually sent me on a uh, a task to rescue her sister. Very romantic, I think. The flamingos agree. And there we have the uh, back of the observation post. Well, let's go up inside. All the ambient light is from candles. I'm old fashioned. We're just lazy. Man, there must be a moon out tonight. There it is. That's why it's so bright out here. Let's see what we look like coming up the hill. What any potential near do wells would see. It's kind of imposing. You can see the turrets up there. Not to give anybody second thoughts about. Oh, well, this is great. That is not how you do not attract attention to yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes the tour. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, Easy, thank you so much for the motivation. Uh, Quick Smoke also has uh, a build challenge that I'm late on, which is the uh, checkpoint build, and I'm working on that now. So, uh, again, check out Easy E's, uh, the submissions for Easy E's billboard challenge. There's a lot of great ones. Also, Quick Smoke's uh, checkpoint submissions, they are wonderful. Again, thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching.